One of the things we really need to do to this course is add the tests. The publisher provided 63 different test banks, and these include sort of tutorial-based quizzes and reviews, as well as actual tests for each chapter. Um, and each chapter, in typical fashion, has between 100 and 150 questions. So you could create a quiz that pulls some of those questions, or pulls some randomly, and you could create a final or midterm that pulls from all of the chapters you've covered. In this case, I, don't, I want to bring them all in, and then I'll work with them once they're uploaded. So my wife, who specializes in conversions, um, took those files, and they came in a Respondus format. She pulled them into Respondus, and our school has a license to Respondus, but many schools do, and if you just need it temporarily, you can get a 40-day license, or sorry, 30-day license. And there's a plugin for Moodle that's installed as, an, as a module, which allows Respondus to talk to your Moodle server. So we actually did that in-house um, while I wait for our school to install that plugin, created a backup of those tests in Moodle, and now we'll upload that backup to this other installation. So I'm going to go to my file section. I'm going to choose to upload, select the file, which we've called All tests back up, and it's back. It's a backed up Moodle course, basically. We'll give that a minute to do its thing. And it's important when you back up to know the difference between a replacing and a pending. In this case, you see this file is uh, half a meg, which is actually pretty big considering these are all text files. There's a lot of them there, so we're going to click Restore, and it says, it's important to understand, you will have the choice of adding this backup to an existing course or creating a completely new course. We do want to continue, and these are all the different exams, so you see chapters 1 through 13, you see the help desk files, and you see the soundbite files 1 through, I think, 43. Or 44, and then you see these technology in focus, 1 through 5. So this is all of them. Hit continue. <coughs> we're going to the current course, adding data to it. We make sure we're in the right place. Spring CTI 110. Um, we're restoring from that. We want everything here. Notice there's really just those quizzes. I don't really need the forums because they were irrelevant. I do want the quizzes. And Ready to rock and roll. Hit continue. May take a long time. Now you could have some compatibility issues depending on, you know, backing up from one version of Moodle and restoring to another um, is not always predictable. In this case, I believe we're dealing with version 1.9.10 on the server and probably something similar um, on our end. So it does look like they are restoring. And once they've restored, then we need to go look at them. It's quite possible that the test banks don't import entirely cleanly, especially things like fill in the blank and paragraph answers, which I actually would probably avoid putting in my quizzes because um, fill in the blanks aren't so bad when it's an exact word, you know, like what company created Windows, Microsoft, like that can only go so many different ways. But if you wanted to say name two operating systems, that would be tricky because there's a difference between saying Mac OS and Macintosh and Windows NT and Windows XP and Win XP, and they're all valid, but you'd have to accommodate all those combinations. So now I can see all of these tests being created. We're almost there, almost to the bottom. And. Moving right along, Let's see if we can finish before the recording ends. And anyway, if we don't, um, next recording, hopefully, it'll be done. Now that 60, 63 is a lot of quizzes, and some of those have a hundred if not several hundred questions. And so that's done, and we'll pick this up in the next recording.